How's it going everybody? This video is basically a continuation of the frame check one, but as the info about her feats is quite extensive, I thought I'd make a separate one. Before we go into any details, here are the three feat sets that she has. As we'll talk about the unique ones in a second, let's look at the two other sets first. For one, Tireless, Bloodlust, Tough as Nails and Regenerate. And then we have Bounty Hunter, Thrilling Comeback, Punch Through and Indomitable. Out of these, there are three interesting ones that we might consider running over the unique ones. Those are Bounty Hunter, Bloodlust and Indomitable. Bounty Hunter being one of the strongest tier ones out there, granting you 20 health and full stamina every time you kill someone. Bloodlust is an extremely strong feat, dragged down by the fact that it's unique to Valkyrie and Hitokiri. It activates on kills. It's a 50% damage reduction and a 50% damage boost for 10 seconds on a 30 second cooldown. And then Indomitable, that is Tiandi's unique tier 4 in case the name doesn't ring a bell. You gain a 50 health shield once you reach critical health, meaning under 25 HP. Cooldown resets when you gain full HP. Alright, let's look at her uniques then. The tier 1 armor piercing shot is a simple pistol shot for 10 damage. That on top lowers the defense of the opponent by 20% for 10 seconds. This debuff can also be applied to teammates that block the shot. It applies light hit stun, meaning you cannot ledge with it. The cooldown is 90 seconds. Comparable tier 1 feats are Fiery Tusk from Jeonhu. That one also does 10 damage, but has the potential of an extra 15, and it has half the cooldown at 45 seconds. The cooldown is the big kicker here. If it were lower, I'd see this feat being used as a confirmed tool in ganks, up in the damage of teammates. We saw Kunai being used like that during the brief moment when Orochi was played in competitive. Then the tier 2, Pocket Bomb. It is a bomb you toss out that does 25 direct damage. Size is similar to Bear Trap. It does not stay on the floor like Jeonhu's Chilling Ruse, and it doesn't do any additional fire damage either. Cooldown, we're looking at 120 seconds. Compare that to Chilin Rose at 75 seconds. That one also acts like a trap, so you can place it and already have the cooldown running again. I tried a few times to confirm the bomb after a hit, and most of the time this resulted in me getting hit and my opponent escaping. We're looking at a 600 ms travel time if used in chain, and then another 1033 ms until explosion. It's really not that hard to escape from. It has a really cool animation, but numbers wise, this one sadly isn't all that great. Well, it does ledge, I guess. Now, trick shot, the tier 3. That one is great. A gunshot that does 10 direct damage and another 30 in bleed. That projectile can bounce up to 3 times, meaning it can hit 4 targets total. It will not bounce back to a previous target. It is also dodgeable, and a dodge will stop the ricochet effect. It can also hit teammates or yourself, which will also stop the bouncing. A death does not stop it. Stealth will also not stop it and will bounce to and from that player regardless of the feat. Target selection seems to be random. It likes to go in a straight line but will also zigzag and take the same way back if needed. Cooldown is 150 seconds. And then the tier 4 gunpowder surprise. A ranged knockdown bomb shot from a blunderbuss. Big radius, does 40 damage and can confirm much more because of the knockdown effect. Teammates do get staggered as well, but not knocked down. Once again, fast flow is 433 ms in chain with 900 ms travel time. It's a little hard to see since your whole screen flashes with an explosion. Activation time on the floor is 1133 ms. That's not particularly fast 
but the size of the circle does make up for it. It is not catapult. Cooldown is 180 seconds. Alright, let's talk about the new feature this hero is bringing. I've mentioned it a few times already, she can use her feats in her chains. Every time she can press Garp Break for a gunshot, she can also go for any of her unique feats. The tier 1 and tier 3 are confirmed that way, the tier 2 and tier 4 are not. Tier 4 is a little finicky, it seems like sideways unlock rolling gets you away, but back rolling does not. This allows you to increase the damage of your combos and punishes. The fast flow between attack and shots uses similar timings to the normal gunshots. I measured 433 for most chain links, with the forward dodge heavy being slightly faster again with 300. Let's look at an example. A out of stamina throw can not only land the two heavies, but also an additional feat. Make that feat the tier 4 and you do some serious damage. Another use of the tier 3 is to confirm your own damage. By target swapping and stopping peel attempts from multiple opponents, you can use the ricochets to catch one of them in that hit stun, so your chain attack is confirmed. This is probably less feasible than we think, considering the opponents need to be positioned correctly, and the game needs to decide that the bullet bounces in the correct order, and then the game needs to let you lock on to the correct person. For more punishes, be it parries or other punishes, or interactions with stealth, check out Dem's video. He made one talking about all these little details when it comes to the pirate hero, not only feats. So here is my prediction on best in slot. Depending on how harsh some of the changes are that might be coming. For tier 1, it's either the armor piercing shot or bounty hunter. Tier 2, it's a clear choice for bloodlust. Tier 3 as well, no other option than trickshot. And then tier 4, most likely we'll see the unique as well. With proper communication, this feat offers so much extra damage for teammates and is also easy to confirm since the radius is so big. And you need to roll to escape from it, which then offers damage opportunities again. Will be a strong disruptive tool in teamfights. Alright, I hope I covered everything. If there are any additional questions, either ask them down in the comment section or in the Discord. Link to click is down below in the description. I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters, everybody.